the third round. It's the middle Saturday of the Australian Open. And a sweet uh, draw. it's a big moment for him for a place in the last 16. So that'll play out tomorrow. As uh, Zachary here right in front of us at the near end here, just getting moved around by Zhu. But good ground strokes from the Greek. Leans into that backhand. Zhu covers that off with her own backhand. Straight down the middle of the court. Short ball from Zachary. Zhu unloaded. That skipped off the baseline. Zachary did really well to handle that. Good depth this time from Zachary. Zhu really leaning into that backhand. Zachary just using the pace. Oh, that's outstanding on the backhand flank from Zhu, though. Stand and deliver off the baseline. Ripped it down the line for 15, love. Sort of a fascinating thing. Julian's ground strokes are not as technically good as Zachary's, but they're holding up. And Zachary's technique is kind of breaking down. And every ball she's hitting right now is kind of an adventure. To her, too, especially. And to her team, who've been very subdued. 15 love. Zachary gets onto this serve of the forehand. Doesn't have to play any more shots because Zhu pushes too long. And that was uh, a basic error on the ground strike there, 15 all. And the other singles match on John Kane tomorrow, Alexei Popperin, the Australian who saw off Taylor Fritz the other day, biggest win of Popperin's career, will play Ben Shelton from the United States for a place in the last 16. That one has some fire potential. I watched Ben Shelton uh, beat, win at, with the, on the rain delayed heat day, play uh, Zhu Zheng. Oh, Zhu serves an ace. Terrific stuff, 15 Sorry, Steph. And it went right into the super in the match tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. And I think Ben Shelton, who's at the University of Florida, where they play in a place called the Swamp, had some of his buddies there with him and some other Aussies who decided they were, you know, gators. And, and so he turned that thing into a college match. And then there was a whole bunch of Chinese fans there uh, supporting Zhang, and it was absolute magic on court 14. He's a, he's a guy who's ready already at a young age. He's ready for the big stages. He well, loves it. Big opportunity for both players to get into the last 16 of a major. One of them will. Zhu here looking to do the same against Maria Zachary, the sixth seed. Big forehand down the middle. Zachary responds right near the baseline. Zhu handled that pretty well. Forehand from her, not much angle on any of these ground strokes at the moment until Zhu blinks, puts it into the net. 30 all. Chances for Zachary here, looking to get break to get Third back two. on serve. Now, when, at what moment during this escapade is Julin starting to think about actually winning this? Now? Oh, I think she's thinking already about it. Mm. Yeah, I think she's got a bit of belief. And maybe that's uh, causing a couple of tight, unforced errors, but... She's delivering some big shots when she needs them. What does she do here? Oh, it's a fault. I'm fascinated by her earrings. <laughs> I'm impressed Dif that you different noticed. Different ear, yeah, did, yeah. Is that a thing, wearing two different earrings? I don't know what the kids are wearing on their ears these days. I got a lot, can't lie. Zhu unloads with that backhand down the line. This time, Zachary covers it off. Drop shot is not good enough from Zhu. It's put away by Zachary. Her eyes just lit up that time because Zhu did all Third deliver. Team on the drop shot and it just sat up as Maria Zachary just almost cantered to it and unleashed a forehand with venom cross court. Yeah, Zhu is, she was mad at herself now. She took her foot off the gas there, did hit that drop shot, not with a lot of conviction, and then didn't follow it up. She just stayed back on the baseline, hoping she could defend it. And hope is not gonna win her this. Break point here for Maria Zachary to get back on serve. Forehand right back at Zhu. Zhu does the same thing, forcing Zachary back onto the Melbourne side. Now Zachary back to the baseline, slices. Zhu flat with the forehand. Opposite corner, takes the backhand, tries for too much, Zhu. Beyond the baseline, Zachary has broken back and got back on serve three, three games games. all in the final set. Uh, well, that at least got her, her guys up standing. What, I think she needs a little Radic Stepanek right now. A little Radic magic, right? But did I not say, when you looked at me askance not long ago, that I still thought Zachary was going to yeah, win this? Yeah. I mean, of course, she, we're, we're not there yet. Well, but, no, yeah. but still, she might. Um, back on serve, deep in the final set, as the higher-ranked player, more experienced player at these sorts of matches. Does she have the answers? We'll find out. Seventh game here of the third. Zachary serves. An ace down the middle. So uh, third round on the men's side tomorrow on Kia Arena. Uh, JJ Wolf up against Michael Moe, an All-American clash there for, again, a place in the last 16.
that's got some potential. That could be a train wreck, or it also could be really cool. <laughs> it, well, it, you know, I mean, you know, it, it, Jensen Brooksby is not involved, but it's... Yeah. 15 love here, and Zachary leans into a backhand. Zhu covering these off at the moment, but they're good deep ground strokes from Zachary, and the backhand just breaking down a little bit for Zhu here. 30, 30 love. love, Zachary. And then we've got in the women's third round, uh, Laura Siegemann of Germany <laughs> up against Caroline Garcia, the fourth seed out on Kia Arena. Siegemann is kind of like the Jensen Brooksby of the men's side. She can really get into her opponent's head and annoy them a mm. lot. So it'll be a good test for Garcia. Like I said, one of the more fascinating matches they've got, probably on the smallest court. Would be a good test for Garcia, who uh, a couple of days ago said she was very surprised to see Laura Siegmund in the third round. Yeah, well, there you go. And Laura Siegmund is never surprised by anything Laura Siegmund does, so she's got an edge there. 30 love, three all. Sakari serves an ace out wide. Great start from Maria Sakari. 40 love. Looking to get ahead in numbers at least for the first time in this set. The it's one, fourth ace of the set. The one I'm looking at, like I said, back on a small court, go and find it. Tommy Paul and Jensen Brooksby. That one, working, that one could be fire. Working my way through there the order go. of play. I jumped, you, I Zachary jumped the gun on that one. forehand from Zhu. There's the drop shot from Zachary again. That wasn't good enough. Zhu doesn't do much with it though, and Zachary gets the lob. And although yeah. Zhu got a racket Zachary. to it, not enough. The backhand just sort of sprayed off and still landed on Zhu's side. And Zachary leads by four games to three. On serve in the final set. She's broken back and held. And the Greek sixth seed is going nowhere at the moment. So uh, Zhang Shui, the 23rd seed, plays Katie Volnitz of the United States uh, in the third round. And Linda Fruvertova of the Czech Republic playing Marketa von Drusova, also of the Czech Republic. Um, in the third round as well. This is on 1573 Arena. And I will get to court three in just a moment. <laughs> That's all there but is. But it'll give us a chance just to see if we have any further Desert Island disc we do. suggestions. Oh, good. A Tariq messaging from Melbourne. A Tariq. A, with a classic Obla di Obla da, but it has to be the one by Mr. Cowboy. Now, well, I don't know who Mr. Cowboy is. Might be testing the library. But it's got to no, be better than the original the library version. Sorry, was that a library? The library cannot deliver that. No. But it's a good Time. suggestion, Tariq. Thank you. Okay, Meg from and Cape Steph Town. Steph is refusing to sing it. So well, I don't Me know, yeah. No, Meg. Meg from Cape Town got once White Wine in the Sun by Tim Minchin. Yeah, not a song I'm familiar with. Uh, the, the library, again, is bereft when it comes bereft. to that Tim Minchin song. So, um... We'll have to uh, take those two as part of uh, the Spotify playlist, which can't exist because there's only one song. <laughs> but um, you can add that to your Desert Island Disc playlist. Keep those nominations coming through, please. We love hearing from you as uh, Zhu sets herself to serve here at 3-4 in the final set against uh, Maria Sakari from Greece. And uh, Sakari can only put that forehand into the net. Zhu, who had the break of serve, came very close to um, moving further ahead in this set, but Zachary has held firm, stared down break points, and managed to break back and hold. So she has a nose half in front. 15 are we, love. Are we smelling match tiebreak here? What could be more fitting? Yeah, it should be coming, but, <laughs> um, but much of that might land on Zhu's shoulders here. She's got to steady the ship here. Four hands gone long. 15 all, and she's just looking a bit concerned here as the match yeah. moves towards the pointy end. Yeah, she's kind of like, well, where did all that magic go? What happened to that? I wasn't missing. And then that Stephanie Miles in the commentary booth said her technique is holding up, at which point her technique started to break down. So that's not the Netflix curse, that's the Steph curse. Okay. 15 all, Zhu serves, looking for the ace, but Zachary got a racket on it, couldn't get it back over. Zhu delighted to see that Thank nestle you. into the net. 30-15, court three then. Tommy Paul, Jensen Brooksby for a place in the last 16. Love Tomorrow that. Tomorrow afternoon, not before 2.30 local time. There'll be some howling young fellows wearing mullets who will be over there cheerleading that one. Absolutely. All over Melbourne. Jew here at 30-15, goes to the Zachary forehand, then to the backhand. Zachary deals with both pretty well. Creates her own angle, gets Jew on the run there with the forehand and then oh. sprays a forehand, the Greek. Way wide of the court, got that all wrong. 40-15. Zachary is hardly reacting 
either negatively or positively to anything that she's really doing. I guess she's just trying to keep her composure. I think that's probably the point behind this. She still seems focused. She's just not playing very well. That's all the singles action uh, on the schedule for tomorrow, the Saturday. Traditionally, uh, the busiest day of the Australian Open when the fans flock in. Um, I think we're expecting some good weather tomorrow too. Yep, and the juniors are starting as well. Yep, absolutely. Tomorrow, so lots of mixed doubles and doubles, lots going on. Zachary with a good return of serve, and that was great from Zhu. She hit it straight back at Zachary, who did even better with reactions just to stay in the point, but then Yay. disappointingly putting up a, uh, a moon ball uh, shot, which actually went long beyond the baseline. I couldn't really quite work out why she chose that Four shot at all. that time. We're all looking a bit puzzled. Right Four games all in the final set. Yeah, I think the previous shot was very, very similar, and I think she was shocked that it, that it actually hit the line. So she decided to put a little bit more on the next one and make sure it went out. <laughs> That's all I have. It's a slightly what you'd call random decision. But, you know, these are split-second decisions the players make, and sometimes they don't get it right. Well, I think her basically her game plan today has been very random. I think it's all sort of improvised and coming to her as it comes. Out. Good serving, taking Zhu out wide, couldn't keep it in the court. 15 love. Mm -hmm. And she still might win it. I mean, yeah. And the fans have come alive again. The local Greek chapter of the Maria Sakri fan club have made themselves heard. They were pretty quiet there for a while. Sakari ready and serves oh. down the middle, but it's too long. Second serve goes to the Zhu backhand. And then Sakari puts a simple enough backhand, much to her immense frustration, as you can hear, into the net. 15 all. Well, at least she's annoyed about that. I would be. A sign of life, yeah, but she's hit some real stinkers over the last hour or so, and there's not been much reaction. But she's broken back, got back in a position where she yep. could force the pressure really on Zhu here in the final set by holding. She must do that. Serves here heavily down the middle. Zhu does well to get this back. Zachary just landed that on the baseline. Wow, that was tight. But she got it right. If she does win this Australian Open, I think she will. We, we could all agree that this match is kind of the personification of winning ugly. Mm. Even the seagulls agree. <laughs> 30 15, Zachary serves, takes this out wide. Zhu with a big moon ball response gets herself back into position though. Now the players reset the rally until Zachary just dumps the regulation forehand into the net from the back of the court, remonstrating with anyone who'll listen, but mainly her player box. Yeah, she's there as somebody. I mean, I think it might not be a bad idea if she got good and mad at this point. At least it would be something, because the errors are just, I don't know what the error total is going to be at the end of this, but it's pretty significant. Zachary down the far end, serves. Zhu gets onto this with the forehand, clips the tape by Zachary, but manages to go over and stay in the court. Couple of backhands from the Chinese, good depth. Can unload on a forehand here, Zachary defending well, staying in the point. Zhu trying with a couple of backhands, that was too long from Zachary. Big fist pump from Lin Zhu. She's got a break point to lead 5-4 in the final set, which would allow her to serve for the match. Can she convert? She's trying to breathe normally right now. She's trying to make sure she doesn't hold her breath during this point. She's 41 winners for 50 against 50 unforced. Is that Zachary you're talking about? Zachary, yeah. Feels like more, doesn't it? Mm. Zachary serving, oh. this is this, and uh, Zhu is 25 winners up against 36 unforced. Please, please. A little chatter between first and second serves. We hate that when that happens. Yep. At 30-40, break point here. Zhu just really just does nothing with that, and it deserves to be put away. Passive play from Lin Zhu, just looking for the mistake from Sakari, but she didn't deliver. She pummeled that forehand away. Yeah, she absolutely swatted it, and it was an almost, almost in an offhand way. As a courtesy to both these players, please do not make any noise in between the first and second circle. Thank you very much, everybody. Amazing how often that needs to be said.
You know what? The thing about a tournament like this when you want 800,000 people to come through the turnstiles is that 750,000 of them don't know a whole lot about tennis etiquette. Zachary had a real chance to put this away, but on two occasions she misses it. And Zhu is, should take the point and does. Zachary making a real mess of those opportunities. And this is one topsy-turvy game here. <laughs> Both players having opportunities and not taking them. And now Zhu with another chance to break serve. Yeah, I mean, you add in the legal beverages to this. And the other thing is that so many people watch tennis at home on their screen. And you can yell and scream anytime you want. And then when you come and see it actually live, it's sort of hard to hold that back. Break point for Zhu. Onto the forehand. That time she does well, the Chinese. Then onto the backhand cross court. Zachary is holding firm at the moment in defense. What does she do with this backhand? Both players not wanting to make the mistake. Zhu does, though. Dumping the forehand tight into the net. Back to Juice. No reaction from Zachary. Well, she didn't do much either, Maria well, Zachary. Yeah, but she saved a break point. She hung in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No style points in tennis. A couple of ball bounces, and the sixth seed is ready to serve. It's too long. Kindly just redirects that to the ball kid at the net. And we're ready with the second serve. Zachary serves onto the backhand of Zhu. Now Zhu switches to the forehand going cross court. Zachary leaning into that a bit. Zhu covers it off defensively. Opposite corner with the forehand back centrally this time. Straight down the middle of the court. Both players exchanging blows from behind the baseline. That was very close to the baseline from Zhu. Well dealt with by the Greek. Then there was oh, nearly good depth from Zachary, but she just pushed too much. A bit long and a third break point for Lin Zhu. That was one of the better rallies that they've had since we switched over to this court. Uh, and that's a little bit thin soup, I, you know, I, I admit. Uh, we're just looking at the men, but on one of Team Zachary's entourage. It's, it matches her business bun that she's got on the court, but she's in big trouble. Break again. point here for Lin Zhu. What's she done with that? She's landed it deep. Zachary has a swat at it, stays in the point. Both cross court, then up the line. That was really good from Zachary. Well defended by Zhu. On the run, Zhu still makes this back and opposite corner again. Surely she can't stay in this point. She does. Puts up the lob. Does it land in? Yes, it does. Zachary has to reset the point from the back of the court. Lin Zhu goes that! up the lob. Fabulous yeah. forehand winner. Oh, that's worthy of a place in the last 16. She's not there yet, but she's close. <laughs> that was a well-deserved point from Julie, who fought and ran and defended, and just, it was almost like she refused to lose that point, and she was rewarded. And I'm not sure how dismayed Zachary is at this point, because, look, I mean, she can break her serve. Serving this out is going to be very, very complicated, but that was a big desire point from Julie, and that was impressive. Julin has the opportunity to serve for the match and a place in the fourth round to oust Maria Sakkari. And you'd have to say Maria Sakkari has not delivered a vintage performance tonight. She's got the tools, the skills and the weapons to break back here, but she's put herself in a very difficult position. Unlike the vintage tune suggested by, you see what I did there? Tanya Falcone, oh, Bob yes, like Dylan, Tanya. don't Time. think twice. Nice. That's okay. good. Well, we'll see if that's in the library. That might be one to venture to after we've seen what happens here. Can Julin serve this out? That is the question that uh, awaits here. We don't have it in the library anyway, but it's an excellent <laughs> nomination. It's, <laughs> it's pre-library. It's, it's only available on vinyl. It's in yeah. the AO Radio <laughs> library. Librarian's working very hard upstairs, as is Zhu Lin, and she's ready to serve for the match against Miria Sakari. Sakari onto the forehand in response here, runs around to stay on that same forehand, but gets exactly what she wanted, a ball that's too long Love. from Zhu. Love 15, 5-4 in the final set. What's your expert pick right here? Is she going to hold? Yes or no? No. Binary answer, yes or no? <laughs> I've been forced into a position. Uh. I actually don't know, but I'm going with no. Okay. 
Ju serves Zachary with the forehand straight down the middle of the court. No real angle. Good depth that time from Zhu. Goes cross court. This is short though. Zachary doesn't do much with it. Opposite corner. Defensively up from Zachary. Saw oh, the swing volley was really good from Zhu. She hadn't quite got to the service box, but she still powered away the forehand. Yeah, she sensed that opportunity when she got Zachary moving because all Zachary really did in that point was make balls. Just put the ball in the court. And it was you who took the initiative. And uh, I mean, often it's the other way when the underdog is going to be serving for the match. So that's a, that's, a, that's a good effort by you. I'm impressed with her. She's competed very well tonight. 15 all, the ball toss is not right. Played just a tick over two and a half hours. It's 20 to two in the morning. Can Zhu get through at this oh. opportunity? She just pushes long beyond the service box. Still sounds early compared with three minutes past four, doesn't right. it? Right. She yeah. fired that for missed for a serve at 166 though. Put some juice on it. Second serve. Yep, lands that in. Zachary, oh, she had a swing at that forehand, but she holds her hat head in dismay because she just dumped the forehand into the net. The players who end up, who practice a lot with male practice partners, do not practice returning 111 kilometer an hour surf. The guys can't even hit it. You got to practice it because sometimes you get them. You get them all Zhu the time. Here, serves, Zachary does well with this return. Jumping into the forehand again, finding some good depth, the Greek. Also staying on that same angle, then onto the backhand. Oh, the other direction, slight miss hit from Zhu. Zachary's opened up the court though for Zhu to put it away. With a ripped forehand down the line to set up two match points to knock out the sixth seed. I think she just made it, she just said a little silent prayer to herself, but I love the way she's taken this game, you know, by the throat and really gone for it. Well, is she going to go for it now at double match point for Julin? She serves. Yeah. Oh, nice to come the on. What a way to deliver a win. What a way to knock out the sixth seed. A huge win in Julin's career. And she's into the last 16 of the Australian Open. 7 6 1 6 6-4 in just over two and a half hours on Margaret Cordarina and Maria Zachary. She's out. Curse, curse. There's only Felix left. <laughs> Let's wrap him in like bubble wrap and, and put a bodyguard on him and make sure nothing happens to him as Julian has a little, little, you know, a little, a little teary moment with herself. That is a big moment for her. Zachary gave her a tight little smile at the net. She's wandering off now, homeward bound. Wondering what the heck just happened there. Oh, seeing tears from Julian. Oh, she can't believe big time. the uh, enormity of what she's delivered on one of the big show courts at one of the four major championships. That's a massive win for her.